OK. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, a couple things that we want to make sure that we have for this. All right. Before even forgetting about parallelograms, we have, it says determine if it's a parallelogram, right? So you have coordinate points. First thing, guys, if you have a standard test, whatever you have, plot the points. So let's go ahead and plot these points. And then make sure, if you guys remember, remember reflections, whenever we plotted points, remember when we did the reflections and transformations? I said you have to label those points, right? Don't forget to label those points so you remember. So first one is P, which is at 0, 0. That one's pretty easy. Next one's Q is at 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have S, which is at 7, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then at 4. And then we have Y, which is at 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. OK? Now. We have a parallelogram that looks like that. All right? And if you guys remember, there's a couple characteristics that we have a parallelogram. But the worst mistake that you want to do is say that, oh, yeah, that's a parallelogram. And I'd say, why is it a parallelogram? Because it looks like a parallelogram. All right? We're better than that in this class. We have to make sure we can justify why it's a parallelogram. Now, they said determine this as a parallelogram by using the slope formula. So when I see using the slope formula, that means I'm going to calculate the slope. So I need to make sure that I know the slope formula between any two points is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. All right, We have to be able to determine the slope between our two points. Now, what two points do we want to find the slope of? Well, going back to our characteristics of a parallelogram, we know that opposite sides, or a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. So therefore, these two sides have to be parallel. And these two sides have to be parallel. That means if I can determine that this side and this side have the same slope, right? that means they're going to be parallel. And if I can show that these two sides have the same slope, then they are parallel. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in PQ. I want to find the slope of PQ. Now remember, P is at 0, 0. So I want to find the slope of line. Um, PQ. And then Q is at 3, 4. So I can just label these as x1, x2, y1, y2. Now what I simply do is um, plug it into my formula. So I have 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0, which equals 4 thirds. Now I want to determine, all right, does uh, ys have the same slope? All right. So I'll label this as x1, x2, y2, y1. And therefore, what we do is I'll say 0 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 7. Well, that becomes negative 4 over negative 3, which reduces to 4 thirds. So do those have the same slopes? Yeah, yeah of course they are, right? They're good. Now. Let's do the same thing, but now let's go and determine. I'll just erase these x1, y1 so I don't confuse myself. Now let's go and determine the slope of qs and py. So first one I'll just do is qs. So here's q, here's s. I'll just label them. That's x1, y1, x2, y2. And again, guys, remember, do not confuse yourself. Which one's 1, which one's 2? It doesn't matter. Every coordinate point can be put in the form of x, y. Just label 1 as the 1 and 1 as the 2. Just make sure you're consistent. So what I have here is 4 minus 4 over 7 minus 3, which is 0 over 4, which is 0. Then my next one is going to, oh, that's qs. Then I'll do py. So I'll label that x1, y1, and this uh, x2, y2. So then again, I'm doing 0 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0, which is equal 0 to 4, which equals 0. So ladies and gentlemen, can I now prove that those coordinate points make up a parallelogram? Yes, yes I can. And I prove that by using the slope formula. So AJ, what you can do is if you have a set of points and you need to show that as a parallelogram, 
you can show it by, by applying the, um, the slope formula to opposite sides. And if you're able to determine that the opposite sides are parallel, then you have a parallelogram. Okay? Now, a 